the Pulitzer Arts Foundation, completed in 2001. This building is a staple of the art in the great city of St. Louis, Missouri. It is the first freestanding public project that international architect Tadao Ando designed in the United States. Through carefully composed windows and a central water court, the building is bathed with natural light, inviting the outside world in to the immersion with the art and the architecture. In this space, Japanese architect Ando has created a water feature in the center of the art exhibits. As you walk through the inside walls of the museum, you will experience an area that houses permanent and temporary collections of art. The atrium serves as a connecting point for all of the art galleries. The centrality, height, and airy feeling of this atrium has the viewer and occupant to become relaxed and prepare to choose a direction. The simple and neutral tones help clear the mind and allows the viewer to leave the outside world behind to be immersed in the artworks. Here, from the other end of the art hall, you are able to see Ellsworth Kelly's permanent display of art titled Blue Black on the back wall. If you look to your right, just behind the atrium space, you can see stairs that lead you to an active art exhibition. Here there are often art installations that you can play with and create. While in the room, you are lifted from the building in a sunlit glass box, able to take in the views of the city. The four paintings in front of you are created by artists and were then displayed in Glenn Lingen's art exhibition titled Blue Black. This collection was inspired by Ellsworth Kelly's Blue Black permanent art piece in the gallery. The paintings shown from left to right are Solutions Double by Suzanne McClelland, The Lasso by Joan Miro, an untitled piece by Wade Guyton and Invisible Man by Tim Rawlings. As you stand here, you can see up close the large scale of Kelly's piece, Blue Black. This work of art had an impact on many people with its massive, solid planes of color that leaves the viewer to use their imagination when interpreting the art. This piece also influenced the art display we just visited by Glenn Lingen and was the initial inspiration to create the collection and hold it in the same room as Blue Black and title it just the same. Kelly believed that negative space was just as important as positive space. These ideas align perfectly with the open volume and large solid forms of architecture and walls that the art now fills up.
You are now in a sculpture designed by artist Richard Serra. This art installation is made of weathered steel. It angles, spirals, and torques around until you are in the center of the spiral. It is a sculpture designed for an interactive and very personal experience. While you walk at your own pace around the curves of the steel, you can imagine running your hand across the material and feeling the metal hold to the touch. You might look up and see the narrow view of the sky and what could be beyond the place that you are viewing from. Once you're in the center of the sculpture, you will feel consumed by the moment and you'll be able to soak in everything around you. A quote from the artist himself. It is as if your body becomes its own roller coaster, one tracked not up and down, but round and around. As you leave the glass room behind, you step out onto the roof terrace outside. The breeze of the city hits your skin as you are able to take a deep breath of fresh air. There is city and large skyscraper buildings all around you, but you are greeting with your first line of sight by a beautiful and luscious bed of plants. The vibrant green contrasts the cool tones of the concrete and the transparency of the glass behind you. The space is airy and open, yet guides your line of sight out and around you. You are then able to be immersed in the moment that you're in and be thoughtful with yourself.